My friends out there, let me tell you a story, a tale of which I'm afraid ends with little glory. It began the day on which I heard of young Pascal, merely sixteen and already a mathematician of French locale. His mystic hexagram immediately caught my eye, when inscribed in a circle on a line, three intersection points do lie. Before the age of nineteen, a calculator he did create, thoughts of which only did lead to my increased heart rate. After hearing of his wonders in equations I would dream, I decided that to find this man I would go to any extreme. I came across his perfect tabular presentation of binomial coefficients, but I needed him for explanation. Wolfram Alpha just wasn't sufficient. Just as Pascal himself had used his wager to justify God's existence, so too would I use probabilistic arguments to justify me going the distance. And thus I decided to travel to his place of birth, hints of his whereabouts I was hoping to unearth. I searched high and low through the streets of Paris, past the Cathedral of Notre Dame, but still no Pascal did I see. My friends thought me a fool, but of this I did not care. I only listened to the words of myself and hoped my heart would lead me there. My little success did not discourage me, feeling almost like a math addict. I read more about his contributions to philosophy of math and to hydrostatics. The Louvre contained no signs of him, for not a painter but rather author he was. At last, I thought my only hope was to search from up above. Hello, everyone. We are at the Eiffel Tower, and we are on line, a long line, and we're pretty sure the elevators might not go up past about 10 minutes from now. And if you see this line, it's not good. We but, can zoom in a But the bit. craziest part is that this is our third attempt, yes, third attempt, to see the Eiffel Tower. And, um, and have we succeeded? And we have not yet succeeded. <laughs> this, this might be as far up as we get. Yeah, apparently just no one wants us to see the Eiffel Tower. But we have, we have, many, we have, we have two more tries. Night, two more tries. Tomorrow night and Monday night. And we will see the Eiffel Tower. We will Tower. come earlier. Every, every, every day we get one, day one hour earlier. earlier. <laughs> one hour. But the next time we're coming at like eight maybe. This is, this is definitely a problem. Hopefully, <laughs> next time you see us, we will be at the top. At the top. That's that's the next video. Not we're doing. Bonsoir. <laughs> Look how close it is to the other side of the world, kind of. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're on the second elevator now. Second, second elevator. We are almost at the top. Okay, we're going. Tell us where we are. We did it. We're at the top of the Eiffel Tower. Look, look, look. There's the lights going across. We can see that. We can see that. We can see all the city, which is very hard to see, but kind of like amazing. It goes out really far. Really far. The city Smile. is huge. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is the craziest thing. This is so high. Okay, we made it. Yay, third Yay. time's a charm. We did it. We definitely did it. So you see, my friends, of Pascal I did not find. Thus why I have resorted to this silly rhyme. If you are out there, my dear, of these words do listen. Without you, life is dull and never glistens. When we meet, I'm sure that colors will come alive, and the love we'll share is even stochastically certain to survive. So if you hear this, Pascal, know that your soulmate awaits in Evanston, Illinois. Together we'd make a golden rate.